So we heard the affirmative. So trophies, a life, huh? So let's see what the negative has to expose. Maybe some truths, some hard knowledge as well. It's over to you. Your time starts now. Thank you, Your Honour. I'll take up the mantle and argue this silly diversion created by an ADHD-driven clown and his artificial excursions. Hunters and whores, hardcores, casuals, randoms, completionists, spammers. But that's not what you really call yourselves, is it? Those are addled by the trophy curse. Scum suckers, bottom feeders, bronze bandits, five percenters, platinum pinchers, silver sluts, gold radagoliaths. The sense of paranoia overwhelming to all with the desire. But let's take a deeper look here, Your Honour, at why trophies aren't awesome. Why this myth that's perpetuated by the affirmative side is nothing but an artificially created fake fallacy. The metagame, you argue, you trophy desirers. The metagame within the game. Whatever happened to the game within the game? We've turned into a participation award society. Congratulations for putting your shoes on, for eating your breakfast. Have a sandwich, Jimmy. Your turn on your console, have a plat. Back in my day, an old man preaching relevance, please behave. Respect, blah, 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 blah. Sit down, PS3, PS2, PS1. No trophies to be seen. But who's really in control? Who's really calling the shots on this supposed trophies are awesome? If you don't love life, you don't love trophies. Please. Dance, puppet, dance. You have no free will. You were once better than that, but now left clutching at straws of self-importance, relevance. Then TikTok, you're gone. A million and one trophies, but no comprehension. You weren't playing the game. The game was playing you. Now, if I need any more of an elaboration to diss on this satisfaction, it has to come surely in the form of the leaderboards. The leaderboards, driven by the trophy's desire, the purest, the white light, they so forth and preach. The leaderboards, what? A case study for deprivation and deviancy. Lies, cheats and hackers, scoundrels abound. Or so we are preached to from an unknown source of fictitious fables, falsehoods, fatiguely drawn out under the guise of atonement or propaganda. Abounds. But no, you say, it's all on the up and up. I earn no trophies. I play. But what? No. Are you serious? Who knows? The paranoia circles and circles around. Delusion. Now, trophies spread delusion, Your Honour. There is no question. This artificial insamination of courage, of conviction, of self-confidence, it's appalling. It's alarming. It's the participation award all over again. But it's more than that, Your Honour. This delusion, it runs deep and it runs dry. Reality and truth. Trophies are not awesome. Trophies are not life. Delusion runs rampant, Your Honour, encouraged by this nasty, insidious, virtual bling. Why, even an old dog now hides in shame atop a friend's castle, proclaiming their relevance on team-built fame. Broken and drained, now even sheep turn away. Fame? Infamy. Who can say? But one thing remains. Manipulation turns its fickle hands from addict to master. Are you sure you're not the plaything? A shadow of a player at all. The affirmative will convince you it's open and honest, but let's face it, your mother ain't getting no follow-through on that Call of Duty action. You are in the basement. You're under the stairs. Turn on the light. Open the door. Get some air. This dopamine rush that the affirmative gloss over, driven by courtesans of a digital perversion, (laughs) some white powder on top, come on, wake up. 
I don't need no trophy to stimulate my urgent arousal for some dopamine rush. I got hookers in GTA. I'll tap the old fella, no jar required. I'll shoot my desires, no trophy required. Heck, I can shake, I can wank, I can WWA style. But once again, Your Honour, the affirmative will try and pull the wool over your eyes. They gloss over the realities of trophies from their happy place. But you ain't no Gilmore, and there's no life-size check here. Your grandma ain't pulling your lever. This ain't no happy place. Throw as many trophies as you like, but nothing's going to illuminate your disgrace. This is not life. Trophies are not awesome. Now let's talk the physical pain, the RSI, or smashing that guy, it ain't no high five. You've got players that sit in their homes all day, they're driving around and around the world, all for some digital bling. What? How come? How can be? How is this awesome? How is this life? Maybe once we can entertain their childlike mind, but then they hop on a skateboard to repeat the crime. Where does it end? Where does it stop, Your Honour? Pogo Stick Simulator 2020. Your bits jiggling as you make the journey. This is insane. This is criminal. This is deluded. Trophies are not awesome. Trophies cannot be life. Life is life. Experiences are real. Get off the stick, ride the skateboard, drive the car. Oh no, look at him. He's about to start. Blah, blah. He'll scream and he'll cry from an affirmative position, oppressive as hell, with a smile like tradition. But let's face it, Platt's galore. His gold, his ratios, even the bronze. But none of it matters. It's all hollow. It's fake. It's what happens through trophy creationism, but it's all a fake. They'll claim they live millions of lives and experiences. The trophies guide the hand to these awesome experiences. But really, it's not. It's all, it's all a dream. It's all an illusion. They can claim they're grounded no matter what they drop. The DLC has spoken. It's permadeath or not. But the joke's on them. Their death is long past. They're nothing but the hollow, fragmented shell of a gamer lost. Now the Vita. The Vita. What can you say about this travesty of trophy addiction? The Vita and this damn hack. How many times have you got to play that stack? It's not right, it's not just, it's a perversion. It's sick and twisted. J-P-H-K-A-S-E-U-N-N-A. What is going on, Korea, you say? This is not normal. This is not trophies. This is not awesome. This is delusion. This breeds jealousy. This breeds distrust. This breeds disgust. I see the players disregard the hacks. Your count's not valid. You've merely made a pact with the devil that you can't sustain. Despite your affirmative, positive, engaging display, it's a battle you're losing, simply beginning, only rewarding you with community disdain. So, Your Honour, as if there was ever any need to argue this fallacy, this fictitious fable, this untruth. Trophies are not awesome and they leave you with addiction. Life is awesome but trophies deny the real pleasure of life with their artificial construct. We might appear as miserable bastards but at least there is a truth unlike the ADHD of the affirmatives bubble approach to life. Wake up. If it stinks it's shit no matter how you wrap it. Heck, you're playing on an inferior console driven by a non-existent superficial bling created through artificial experience. I don't need to acknowledge the bell. I'm not smashing 10 plats. I was here. This is now. I'm breathing. You over there need to chill. Stop sprouting this nonsense, this lies, this vitriol. Trophies are not awesome. Life is awesome. Make sure your experiences 
are real, not driven by the entry-level programmer and his sadistic pleasures as he sets the hoops, get off your pogo stick, you're in control, trophies don't matter.